I can't get enough of them. Hopefully you can either, because for one, if there's any way to spice, 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 up your design career and your design portfolio, it's actually exploring fonts. So if you're sticking with that same sans serif, if you're using Impact, you need this video. And just before we actually hop in, I just wanna say, don't forget the first link in the description down below, the Everything Pack. It is my personal library of custom handmade design assets by me. Literally over 26 different individual projects to explore and enjoy, but also celebrate with my Discord community. That is a really, really fun environment to be a part of for other artists, supporting artists, and just getting critiques and all that good stuff. So it comes with a lot of dope perks, but also all free products on my store that release, you get for free, no matter the price. Now let's go see some cool fonts. All right, so let's start with Monsi. Monsi is a graffiti display typeface that has a ton of bold character and playfulness. It has a rounded bubble letter face with a hint of almost like retro mixed in. And it's even a multi-language support font, which is also very, very dope. It has this nostalgic essence of like the early 2000s graffiti culture with like a captivating bubble style font. I can see the apparel designers or even like urban music designers really vibing with this typeface as it does have this really cool lasting impression from its first glance. And also if you guys use Pinterest enough, you'll end up seeing where this design style fits and it also complements your daily sans serif typefaces a lot, probably because of its bold contrast. It's one of those typefaces that like really inspire like an entire art direction. But up next is Variety, a futuristic, modern, yet retro box typeface that is way too well designed to be free. It has a bit of a stretch stance that feels very tech, but also I feel like you can see this on like a Formula One poster. But if you guys are a fan of stackable geometric fonts that really work well, while also the symbols and supporting typefaces are also really well done, I would end up grabbing it for sure. But next we have Chew Mount Script. Yet again, another really well-designed typeface that I'm personally excited to find the project for because it has that like script nature, but it also doesn't feel overly elegant. I tend to usually shy away from script fonts because they usually fit into this like specific bracket of maybe like a beauty world's, you know, cosmetic for like just some kind of context. But this script font in particular has a bit of like swag or culture, if you will. And honestly, maybe that's just from like these sharper cuts within some of these letter forms. So if you're in need of like a script typeface, it doesn't feel too boxed into a specific category. I absolutely feel like this is the one. Zach Lad is next. It's just one of those like super chunky, bold typefaces that have a bit of a quirky look to it, but it doesn't feel overly childish or kid-like. It feels like a typeface that you can use for like a construction company or maybe even like a Fortnite thumbnail. We call that range. <laughs> but the blocky geometric characters were super unique and it just felt like a project worth adding to the collection. Also like the at symbol or like some of the symbols, like the your normal day to day, like one through zero symbols, they look really good too, I'm not gonna lie. Next up though, we have Krisha. It has characteristics of being like super tall, bold, even having really deep ink traps, but also has a bit of a compressed look. There's honestly nothing too special about it, but I've actually seen myself use it a few weeks ago for a quick project, and I felt like it just was the perfect fit. So it's just a dope addition to the many vertical tall fonts that I have, and I think you should have it too. However, though, speaking of tall, we have tall boy. It has a bit of an old school vibe, but that can also be because of the presentation, because at the same time, it could also have some sort of cyberpunkish futuristic vibe to it. So it is a fairly flexible typeface that just seems to work with the given environment, most likely due to its non-curved letters and that more straight edge curve, but also put this on like a white background and black text. And I don't actually think the author's presentation shared how versatile this font actually is. Versatile. Why did I say it like that? So if you guys need something that's pretty dope and very, very tall, definitely, definitely download this one. Next, we have Build, which is probably one of the more civil ones on this list for sure, but I always like to add this for like your next thumbnail style font. That can also work for a lot of different other projects. But I definitely downloaded this typeface just because I wanted to spruce up my YouTube thumbnail game just a bit. with like that next sans serif look and this is just it. But I can't say the same thing about the next one, Murmur. This font was literally created to be the typeface of a brand and just it just looks so dope. It has a uniquely formed character set that its weight changes throughout the letters from like thicker to thin. It also has these larger exaggerated loops and swoops and it's, it's just so nice. It feels very editorial, but yet elegant and also just straight up stylish. So if you're into creating things like logos, magazines, or that, you, you just need that like special type for like a more bold look in a project, I think for sure this is it. And it's free, like free free, like open license free. That's insane. However, though, for the last typeface, we have Knight. And to me, it's just not your normal serif typeface. But one of those have like a lot of style and smooth curves to it. It also has literally 10 styles, four different weights or five different weights, all in italic as well. 
full character set. And honestly, I think the project speaks for itself. It just has this stance that feels like almost a bit dark or even like mythical at points, but still linear enough to also use it without other characteristics coming into play. So if you got an art direction that needs a bit of darker tone or like that perfect like novel poster cover font, Knight has got to be added regardless, because it is also free, like the rest of the fonts in this video. If you guys ended up enjoying, please make sure you actually download the fonts in the description down below, or you can download the entire overall product, but also don't forget to check out the sources, support the artists and all that good stuff, because that's also important. Because a lot of these cases, a lot of these fonts were created for like a certain project and they released it for free, which is insane. So it's one of those things, but also sometimes the sources can lead to other cool fonts. You get me? So with that being said, Seso HQ out. You're gonna get to keep smiling, stay positive, and stay freaking pretty guy. Later, much love, peace. And don't forget to check out the everything pack as always. Description down below, first link. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy your new arsenal of fonts.